this is a series of victories uh, in which not only the Iraqi security forces, uh, popular mobilization forces, but also tribal forces, uh, local volunteers uh, took part. And this is very important because this is a unifying factor. All the people of the country now are joining ranks and increasingly uh, all the components are taking part in this fight. In your recent uh, briefing to the Security Council, you talked about ISIL's efforts uh, to reignite sectarian confrontations. How worried are you that this could happen? I'm very much concerned. Uh, and first of all, uh, uh, allow me to express uh, once again my condolences, uh, sympathy uh, uh, with the people, uh, uh, with the victims, with the families of the victims, uh, because indeed uh, Daesh in their barbaric terrorist actions uh, they now target uh, civilian population more, more and more, and it's a very clear attempt to uh, ignite a retribution attack, uh, again, perhaps based on some sectarian sentiments. I'm very glad that, uh, by and large, uh, the people understand and reject this. What should be done to stop it happening? First, yeah, the role of the UN. Not only the UN, but I believe that this is, first of all, the business of the government uh, to increase uh, all uh, measures uh, to make them more effective, uh, to provide security and safety, including and starting with intelligence, uh, but frankly, with uh, community-focused uh, efforts uh, to mobilize the communities to be vigilant, not to allow situations simply to create opportunities for this kind of plans and activities of Daesh. Uh, here, indeed, the government uh, must play uh, its role, and I believe these requests that are coming from the people towards the government are legitimate. We will, we will assist, uh, as the international community, of course, uh, uh, in providing better training, perhaps in providing better equipment. I believe that uh, parts of the international community that can, can do this uh, should share uh, any kind of intelligence they might have uh, with the authorities of Iraq. Regarding the government, what should be its role um, after the liberation of some areas in Iraq? First of all, uh, even before the operation, it is necessary to think about uh, the post-liberation environment. Uh, and uh, uh, I believe that the most important thing is to give the responsibility for law and order, for management to the local people, to local communities, uh, to the local forces, if you wish, as well. This is the most important thing. So the moment the liberation is over, the moment the basic stability is there, it is very important that simultaneously, even with the liberation, even taking part in the liberation operation must be local forces that would then uh, assume control over, as I said, law order and politically over the political management uh, uh, of the liberated uh, uh, townships uh, and areas. What are the most urgent reforms have to be implemented by the Iraqi government? There are many of them. Economic, uh, social, uh, political, uh, everything uh, you, you count. I believe that at this point of time, it is very important uh, from a midterm perspective uh, to uh, have reforms that will address, uh, first of all, corruption because people are really unhappy to see uh, pervasive corruption. And uh, secondly, uh, reforms that will bring, uh, frankly, future jobs uh, to the people. Part of the reform must be the judicial system, judicial system that uh, should be uh, strong enough uh, to indeed deliver justice to all the people. Part of the reform must be uh, uh, legislation. Uh, there must be some laws that will indeed reinforce equality of the people and access uh, of all the people, all the, all the components, uh, equally to justice uh, uh, without any discrimination. So unfortunately, indeed, uh, uh, the government uh, of Iraq and the Iraq, uh, Iraqi people, they, they face unprecedented uh, combination of uh, stresses and pressures, and they have to work in a multitude of areas at the same time. What's your message to the Security Council and the international community? Support Iraq. That's, that's the message. Uh, Yes, uh, uh, there are many other situations all around the world. Uh, some of them are critical, uh, indeed. Uh, uh, we see deterioration uh, of situation, uh, growing instability. But Iraq might be and uh, shows uh, a potential uh, to be uh, a sort of brighter spot on the map, uh, be it in the region, but also broadly, more broadly than that.